back to No Apologies. In today's vlog, we're going to answer some objections which can be made against the belief in God or against the practice of religion. It's sometimes said that I don't believe in God, or I don't practice religion, because if you ask someone why they do believe in God, oftentimes the answer you receive is based on some kind of interior religious experience that the individual has had, such as dreams or visions or have heard voices or have experienced uh, emotion or some kind of spiritual feeling when they think about God or religion. And I can't accept these as legitimate motives for myself believing in God because these interior experiences can't be proved by science. Oftentimes we can fool ourselves, our eyes see things which aren't there, our imagination convinces us of things which we want to be true. There could just as easily be natural explanations for these things. Dreams are just dreams influenced by our daily experiences and our environments. And because people can be claiming these things just as a way of deception. And I answer that these claims are true enough and that these kinds of things, dreams and visions and voices, should never be the basis of our belief or our religion. I don't deny that God has in time intervened in this way, but these events are extraordinary and exceptional, and we do wrong to presume in such graces. I do, however, disagree with the conclusion, because it throws the baby out with the bathwater. It says, most people answer, I'm religious because of religious experience. Religious experience is incredible or untrustworthy. Therefore, religion is to be rejected. But the logical conclusion of these two premises is most people say that I'm religious because of religious experience. Religious experience is incredible. Therefore, some religion is to be rejected. That is, religion based on religious experience. By saying that most people answer, it's admitted that there are other answers to the question, why are you religious? There are answers not based on these kinds of private experiences. Many people believe in God based on the many rational arguments which support the belief in a Creator. Many people believe based on the beauty and the complexity of the universe and also at the same time seeing its perfect harmony and order. Many people believe in Jesus Christ because the Gospels hold up to the scrutiny of any historical criticism and because things concerning His life and His death were written about thousands of years before they took place. All of these things are legitimate, objective motives of credibility. Now it also is sometimes argued that miracles too are not to be seen as a reason to believe for many of the same reasons. They can be lies and deceptions, our senses can be easily fooled, and human nature is oftentimes very gullible. And I would respond in a similar way. One can't disprove the miraculous by asserting that some are frauds. There are miracles which have been tried and examined by science after science, all with the same conclusion. There is no natural explanation for what has taken place. A rationalist might respond to that. Well, what science doesn't know today would be able to explain tomorrow. But I respond with radio replies, and it's not necessary to know everything which nature is capable of in order to know some things which nature is absolutely not capable of. For example, at Lourdes, France, the application of ordinary spring water is absolutely naturally incapable of curing a body of tuberculosis or cancer or any other infirmity. But this is exactly what's taking place, and we have medically documented cases of just such miracles. So true miracles are certainly a legitimate motive of credibility. So the error in both of these objections is that they go from the sum is bad to the all is to be rejected. If I had three $100 bills in front of me, two of which had been put through a shredder, by the logic of these objections, I should throw away all three. Of course, that's not the case. You get rid of the bad, and you keep the good. Thanks for joining me on No Apologies. Ave Maria.